One of my favorite things about Tears of Olympus is that Leo is 100% wrong about Percy. And I honestly sometimes imagine how that conversation went when he realized how wrong he was. And this is coming from someone who loves Leo. Leo's my favorite like character of the Hero of Olympus books. New characters, anyway. It's just so funny to think about that Leo looks at Percy in like this suspicious manner because he just thinks like there must be something wrong with him. Everybody likes him so much and I don't want to like him because it's annoying to me that he, everybody likes him so much. So there must be something off about him that other people just don't realize. And so he kind of needles him in these arguments and gives him a hard time and immediately just yells at him about Calypso, just assuming that he did the wrong thing there because he just looks at Percy in this suspicious light all the time. When what is the reason why Camp loves Percy so much? and is so scared about him being gone because he's the most powerful demigod they have and when he got the chance to get whatever he wanted from the gods instead he asked them to take care of their own children he didn't want anything for himself and instead said take care of your kids and let calypso off of your island like imagine realizing that you yelled at somebody about how they abandoned calypso on her island right after they got out of literal hell, which they went through only to help their girlfriend. They didn't have to do that, but they chose to do that because of who they are as a person. To find out that you yelled at that person who literally used all of the power they have in this world to take care of everyone else but themselves. Leo gave one of the best people you could ever possibly meet the hardest time because everybody likes him. Because that kid never likes any attention on himself, he never even called him on it that whole time. He just let him treat him like that.